Hello, everyone. I'm Deborah Bird, and you are watching Earth Sky. Will there be a planetary alignment on January 25th, 2025? I'm here with my fellow OG stargazer, John Goss, also of Earth Sky. Hey, John. Hey there. <laughs> John and I each have about 50 years of stargazing under our belts. So I, that's more a than combined. 50. More than 50. So. <laughs> more than 50 for John. Uh, that's a combined uh, 100 years of stargazing experience here. So we're here to tell you what you can see in the night sky. But John, first of all, what's with all these memes and videos about January 25th? So yes, memes and videos are going around on social media, suggesting that the planets will all line up on January 25th. But will they? No, <laughs> no, no, they won't. No. Uh, no. As for January 25th, uh, we don't know why that date has been chosen for this. Uh, maybe no. somebody out there can tell us because we, we don't know. We just have seen some, some of these uh, videos. No, no. But uh, we do know that January, the whole month of January, just not the 25th, but the whole month is a great time to see the planets. There are four bright planets in the evening sky. That's right. And we're going to show those to you, plus three wonderful planet events this month in just a second. But we, before we get to those, um, John, why are we saying that you can, we're saying that you can only see four planets in the evening sky, but other places are saying, you know, six planets or seven planets or eight planets. Yeah, so four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Yeah, so so what's the deal well, on that? Okay, while it's true that there are six planets in the January evening sky, uh, four of them are fairly bright, but two of them are not. Uh, Uranus is up there, but it requires binoculars to see. And a, a nice chart so you know which, which spot in the sky it is. But Neptune requires a telescope, so you really aren't going to see that with the unedited eye. Four, you can easily. Uranus, nah. Neptune, no. So... Um, okay, so, so here are the four that you can see. You bet. You bet. You have, um, of course, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. Um, and as I said, all month they will be visible in the evening sky. And what I mean by evening sky is like, six, let's say, 90 minutes after sunset. Uh, the sky is fully dark, and you'll be able to, to uh, see these. And again, we really don't know why all these memes talk about January 25th. But... These four you can see tonight and any any night, and you get a nice breathtaking view of of the sky and and what's up there. It's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. On on their chart, you also see that there, there's a green line going across it, uh, kind of connecting up the, these four planets. That's a very special line in the sky. It's it's it, I'll say it's an imaginary line, but in a way, it's really real because it represents the sun's path across the sky. Or another way of putting it is the plane of the solar system. And since we have all these planets, they're a part of our solar system, they lie in that plane, so they should lie on this line. And of course, of course they do. A little bit above it or a little bit below it, but pretty, pretty, pretty darn close to it. That's right. And so, um, so, so what about this misinformation? Because so, so we can see four planets. We can't see Uranus and Neptune because they require usually require optical aid. Neptune always optical aid, and Uranus yes. usually optical aid. But then, what about Mercury? Mercury is up there as well, but uh, in January, Mercury lies almost on the far side of the sun. And it appears in our morning sky. It's not in, in our evening sky at all uh, in January, but it appears on the far side of the sun uh, or towards the far side of the sun right now. In fact, on February 9th, it's on the other side of the sun from us. So you, you aren't going to see it. So it's not in our evening sky. Okay, so these are the four planets you can see in the evening sky. So yes. Venus, west after sunset, Saturn is just above it. Jupiter, very bright, second brightest planet next to Venus, and then Mars, which is also very bright now mm -hmm. and red in color. Mm -hmm. So just for grins, let's mm -hmm. see where the planets actually really are in orbit around the sun. Okay, so what's this, the deal with these charts? This is assuming that you have some magical spaceship and you're flying high above the sun, quite, quite far above the sun. You look down 
and uh, you, you're not looking into the plane, you're looking kind of perpendicular into it. So on the right hand, or excuse me, left hand side, we have what we call the inner solar system, uh, which are planets that are from Mercury to Mars. And you can see where they are right now, where the Earth is. And on this, yes, Mercury is kind of on the far side of the sun, not quite yet. But these four planets are, uh, aren't really in a row. I mean, they're kind of a zigzag, so yeah, a little bit. But the outer solar system, which are the planets beyond Mars, quite a bit bigger area, really, in, in, in the solar system. Uh, you do have Jupiter, or Mar uh, excuse me, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And as you can see, they are nowhere, no way are they in, a, in alignment at all. Um, no, they're not even close. No, no. So this January 25th thing... <laughs> I don't know, any date, they're not going to be like this, as you can see. So I don't know what's Yeah, like we, we are truly perplexed as to why people are saying that there's going to be this January 25th alignment, because as you can see, there's, there's like no alignment that's going on on January 25th. So, no, so we don't no. know what it's about. We no. think it might be astrological. So we do astronomy, which is different from astrology. And hey, you know, more power to the astrology folks. Yeah. And maybe you, there's some me, out there that can explain it to us. But, but if you ask me a question about real... astrology, ask me a question about astrology, and my answer will always be, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we don't know about it because it's it's. It's different from what yeah. we do, but what we do know is that this is the real solar system and the real sky that we're talking about here. So this is what, what's really going on is that on January 25th, these planets are not lining up. <laughs> so, um, John, yes. is it ever possible to see the planets lined up one after another. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, let's talk about some of the great sky events that are coming up in January. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So, um, just a few days from now, we're, we're going to have the, the moon and uh, Jupiter be pretty close together. And that'll be and a that's nice... what this picture is, right? This is a it... picture of the moon and Jupiter. But taken from some time ago, during a, another yes. meeting of the two, uh, it was done by uh, Roberto Porto, a member of the Earth Sky community, which means he can send pictures into us. And he took this in the Canary Islands. And so, as you can see, there is a volcano there. Pretty cool spot, pretty cool place to get astrophotography or just sky photography, the moon and Jupiter or whatever up there. It looks pretty cool. And so when are the moon and Jupiter going to be close again? Uh, well, January 10th, and then it'll happen again in February, but I'm guessing the date will be around February 11th, I'm guessing. Okay. So okay. You'll hear more about so that. So January, good time to look for the moon and Jupiter. Jupiter is the uh, second brightest planet, and it's the uh, uh, usually fourth, sometimes fifth brightest object in the sky. Uh <laughs> And, and so you can see from this picture that when Jupiter and the moon are close together, they're really obvious in the sky. So be sure and look for that mm -hmm. around January, January the 10th. The 10th. The and 10th. again, go out like 90 minutes after sunset. They'll be there. You'll see it. Yes. Yes, that's right. And then we have um, Venus. Uh, and Saturn. So Venus, you can see from, this was taken just a few days ago. I think this was taken on January the 5th. So that was just two nights ago when the moon was passing close to Venus and Saturn. And they are in the west after sunset. You can see them really easily. You can see from this image, which is by Ida Lisa Lugo, another member of our community, that Venus is really bright. Venus is the 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 two brightest things in this picture are the moon and Venus, and the two brightest things in the night sky are the moon and Venus. So uh, Saturn, you can barely see in this picture, it's much fainter, but Saturn is brighter than most of the stars, so you're going to mm -hmm. see it easily. So mm -hmm. the reason we're showing you this is that Venus and Saturn are getting closer and closer and closer and closer together. And when are they going to be closest, John? Well, for the next uh, week and a half, each night they'll be getting a little bit closer, as you just said, until the 17th and 18th, those two evenings, uh, the planets kind of switch places. And then Venus starts rising higher and Saturn starts going lower. They, they, they pull apart. But uh, uh, 
take a look on, on the 17th and 18th, and you'll see brilliant Venus up there with another uh, bright star, star-like looking object, which is Saturn right next to it. So cool. another another great event for the month of January, mm -hmm. Venus and Saturn pulling closer together, uh, closest on the 17th and 18th, and then pulling apart again. But we saved the best for last, <laughs> Mars. Awesome Mars. So what's going on with Mars? Um, Mar Mars is pretty cool that this this time of year, I guess I should say this, uh, this orbital cycle that it has, because it's approaching us fairly closely. Now, it, it's still approaching uh, our planet, or actually, I should say, Earth and Mars are in their orbits around the sun, and Earth is catching up to it, and it's going to pass it. And that'll be on about January 15th or so. And Mar at that point in time, Mars will be about, I think they said, 59 million miles away. And after that, our Earth pulls ahead and Mars moves away, but Mars will still be nice and bright for the next couple months. And this only happens every couple of years, right? Yeah. Yeah, about every 26 months is with, on, on, on average. So you won't see it this bright until, what does that make it? Uh, March of 2027. In a Mar yeah. uh, Mars, Mars will be back up there at, at about this time of year. So, Hey, we'll still be here. And, oh, and this image is by B. Martin, uh, who is in Southern California, another oh, that, member of the Earth Sky community. So That's an incredible so, shot, too. Mars is not easy to to capture like that is that, that is an, a beautiful amazing shot of mars and astrophotographers are out there every night now trying to get these beautiful shots because as john just said january 2025 is when earth and mars are closest together for this <laughs> two-year period so it's a it's a wonderful you know month for mars so come to earthsky.org for more uh, let me show you where you can come, earthsky.org slash tonight, and you can get charts and all kinds of information about all of these objects, uh, and they are, it just, January is, isn't it great, John? I mean, isn't this the best month for planets in a while? In quite a while. This is the best. February will be good as well, but no, January has it beat by, by a little bit, because Saturn, our Saturn won't, won't be so, so great in February, but right now, January. And as far as the 25th goes, it'll be nice nice that night too, but they will not be in a line. Right? <laughs> there won't be no. a line of planets like that. No. It won't be like this. It won't no. ever be, it won't ever be planets going outward from the sun like this. So let's 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 just spend the last few minutes here talking about does this ever happen? Does this ever well, happen? No, it has never happened. No. Uh, as far <laughs> it gets really confusing because the, the planets uh, orbit the sun in a plane, but not, not exactly the same plane. There's a little bit of tilt. So even if the planets are kind of together in the sky, one is a little bit higher and one's a little bit lower. So they, they don't get all that close. But on, on this three dimensional view, it's planets line up. It's been calculated by Jean Mias in France. He's been, he calculated this to be like th every 396 billion years billion now the earth <laughs> uh, the sun and the earth are only like uh, 4.6 5 billion years old right now and we're talking 396 billion not 4 billion right. so has it happened nah, i wouldn't bet on it and will it ever happen i wouldn't bet on that one either um you know the solar system isn't going to last that long the sun will blow it up into a red giant star and and engulf all the inner planets i'm sorry including us. And uh, it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. So no alignment on January 25th, uh, 2025, or probably ever in the 5 billion years we have left in the history of our solar system. Probably not. Uh, it's not that it's impossible, but it's just so unlikely uh, as as John said, 396 billion years <laughs> it might take for that alignment to happen, and we're not going to be here after another 5 billion years. Sorry. <laughs> we might be somewhere, but we won't be here. So, um, so, so that's what we've got, guys, and we want to remind you to take a look outside 
at what you can see, which is like the best view of planets that we've had in a long, long time. Uh, Venus, brightest in the west after sunset. Saturn and Venus getting closer together every night now. Uh, Jupiter, also very bright. And Mars, uh, best for its, this two-year period. John, any final words? Um, it, it, do yourself a favor and go outside 60 to 90 minutes after sunset, if it's clear. Take a look. As, as Deborah just said, look in the west and you'll see Venus and Saturn. Look in the east or high in the east and you'll see um, the, the big one, uh, Jupiter and Mars. And the moon might be up there as well someplace. It's a great sight. It's a great sight. It's beautiful. And it's real. <laughs> Okay, you guys, don't miss them. That's our show. And thank you for joining us for Earth Sky. I'm Deborah Bird. And I'm John Goss. Uh, one Earth, one sky, Earth Sky. <laughs>